Here's another example. We talked about Gmail. This looks, should look familiar to you. It was kind of the old Gmail sign-in page that we had been using for like a couple of years. And uh, we were curious about, well, what, what does that matter? Does all this stuff matter? What if we put, there were people who were just hardcore about this sign up must be at the top right. And that is just, not having it there is breaking all kinds of cardinal sins. And then there were other people who were saying, you know what? Our users, who already are using Gmail, they want to sign in quickly. So that should be at the top. And yeah, maybe it hurts sales a little bit, but you know, retaining the existing customers is just as important. So again, in the old days, you would argue about it. You'd have a long meeting. And then finally, it'd get escalated. Oh, well, the owner should decide. And then you know, the owner would decide, and people would talk in the hallway and be like, well, he didn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> you know, right? So, right? So, but instead, you can now run a test. Right? So what we did was we ran a, in this case, it was a multivariate test. We found that well, moving the button to the top helped a little bit, but not that much at all. Um, making it a button that was a little bit nicer than the link, again, those buttons, Anybody that says links are better than buttons, you should ask for their data. Um, I don't know. That, we've not seen that recently. Um, and we spend a lot of time on these, bu on these bullets. And you know, marketers spend a lot of time on the copyright for this stuff. But you know, that helped a little bit. But I think the overall takeaway for this test is that, A, the cumulative effect of a lot of these changes was quite dramatic. There wasn't one thing that kind of blew it out of the water. But when you add up a few percent improvement here, and a few there, and a few there, and a few there, it, it adds up to a pretty significant number.